welcome to this week's episode of Empower Her Play. I'm Yashmin, I have Sama with me today and Shafia and I also have another guest with us, Hafiza Patel. And today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, menopause, and what the symptoms are and what lived experience um, Hafiza has. So Hafiza, welcome to our podcast. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Um, Hafiza is also the MSA trustee as well. You might have met her at the event. Um, and Hafiza has actually just is going through the menopause um so we're just going to talk a little bit about and i think it's a really important conversation to have because our community tends to brush things under the carpet with this kind of things and um, yeah. it's not spoken about widely yeah. um and we just thought it'd be really good for and a few of us are already going through it as well um about what the symptoms are how you've been dealing with it um how your family's been dealing have you had open conversations about it um and what to look for mm. It's interesting. In, in, in terms of open conversations, I think the first time I've mentioned it to my boys is just now. I said, oh, I'm going to do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about the menopause. <laughs> Mom, are you sure? Mom, are you sure? Oh, bless said, them. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, yeah, it happened to me in my early 40s. Oh, wow, that's young. Yeah, it was, it was very early. But I think my mum my was in th- late 30s. Wow. So uh, genetically, it was quite early, I guess. Um but I, I knew quite a lot about it because my sister had already gone through it. Um, how do I know I was there? Because your mood swings. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. like constantly having PMT, I think is ah. probably the way to des- describe it. it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't yeah, that but bad. But my husband would say that for the last 25 years. <laughs> 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 I've only been good two days. <laughs> I think it's really easy with your sisters, isn't yeah. it? Females, I think it's a lot easier to chat through it. So you had that support uh, network. I knew what to expect through my sisters, but actually my support network came from my other friends who were going through it at the same ah, time. Because okay. it was like, oh my God, And is that the menopause? Is that what's causing that? So you didn't know straight away? No, I didn't know what it was. So my hair was falling out loads. Oh, my hair was well. Yeah, wow. my skin tone changed. Yeah. Is, these are things that you're thinking, really? Is that what's... That this is what gets affected. Mm. Your skin tone changes. You are quite moody. But I think the biggest loss for me, and it doesn't recover, is my memory. Mm. Yeah, you've That's spoken a fog. lot yeah. about that, I isn't forget. it? The brain fog. Yeah. And, and a few other friends have said it as well. You, you, you literally forget. You, you, you talk about the brain fog when you have your pregnancies mm. and then it comes back. But this is like, oh, my God, I've got absolutely no recollection of that. Really? Yeah. And, and mm. I think, and, that, and it was only when you talk to other people that you think, God, it is the menopause. It's not me getting old. Well, it probably is me getting old as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, without being offensive, it must make you feel like, oh, my God, I'm ageing. Like, you know, yeah. that, like doubting yourself yeah. as well, though. It, it does age you. I think that's the one thing that, you know, for years you're like, oh, you haven't changed, you haven't changed. But you go through that menopause, I think physically you change, mm. mentally you change as well. Uh, for you, to me, changed. I've known you for years. Yeah. now like it's over a decade yeah you still look the same to me you no, still look changed. young you still look quite <laughs> healthy yeah no last i think the last five years has definitely taken taken its toll oh. having gone through all of that and, so what and other symptoms bit. would you say is recognizable um so yeah so the memory the brain frog um she can't remember <laughs> <laughs> any 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 <laughs> Hot flush as well, isn't it? Oh, yes. The hot flushes are oh, like we've heard really about this, bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at night time, literally. Really? Y- you know how you have a hot flush and you think it's going to pass in a minute? But this will last for about five minutes. And you're thinking, oh my God, it's not passed yet. Like, the arguments we used to have was I would have the window open mm. all the time. And, yeah. and as soon as I put the window open, my husband's hay fever would kick in. Oh. So, can you close that window, please? There's no, I'm really, really hot. So, yeah, it does. You, that's, I guess, that was. So, quite... how was it for him <clears throat> to, in terms seeing of. you like going through that and did he understand? Was you having conver- conversations? Yeah, did you have the yeah. conversation? Yeah, yeah and we did. Uh, and, and he, yeah, it he, he, he was fine for us. Um, I, I don't think my mood swings were as bad. I think. It was more the the hot flushes and the you know you you're in the living room one day and then you're like stripping down because it's just so <laughs> hot all of a sudden and it's, it doesn't pass within minutes. That's the difference. It's there for about three or four or five minutes. I think that's the difference. Oh. Yeah. So what do you do um, with that happening? It, yeah, you, you you try and wear layers and then you know what really you uh, then you kind of strip down. <laughs> yeah, you, you do that work as well. If you do that at home, um, and, and but, I tell you but what, does it pass and does it get easier? Yes. Or is, like, yes. What was it? 
five years of really or it, it was about shorter two or? years okay. two years and and in everything you can blame on that okay. <laughs> during those two years it is and then um, after that what is it, a new normal it, and it's not as severe okay. so the hot flushes are there mm. but they're not as severe oh. i said but the other thing is your food changes mm. as well so i'd always have a glass of milk before i go to bed or i can't eat drink milk at all really yeah and chocolates what, triggers you just it gone off, off it, no no as soon as i have my glass of milk i it, it really brings it on oh. yeah wow. so i think you would never triggers. think yeah. yeah milk chocolate coffee Mm. These are the things you've got to eat. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Chocolate. it's a blessing, though. Chocolate. Things that are not yeah, isn't it? Mint. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good for you. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. A bit of chocolate's not bad, yeah. A bit yeah. dark chocolate's not bad oh, for wow. you, yeah, yeah. So do you feel like the conversations are needed? Like, we've brought you yeah. on today. Do you still feel like we need to have these conversations? I think so, yeah. I mean, I think that network, even amongst other women, is really useful. Um, you know, because <clears> if you're going through it, and just that, and it was my friend who told me, did you know it's your milk? And, and I thought, no, I had no idea it was that. You know, even your hair falling out, you don't associate it with your menopause. You just oh, think wow. it's just falling out because I'm getting older. Or your skin tone, you know, just feel really blotchy. So you had that pregnant. issue with your skin, isn't mm. it? Was it to do with your menopause? Yeah, or was it vitiligo. So- yeah. See, it, your hormones changing, it, ah. it triggers off loads of things. Yeah, I had a bit wow, of vitiligo. Yeah. yeah that's that you never down. had before? No. Never had before. Wow. That's calmed down. I don't know if that was related to the menopause or not, oh, but maybe. I did have it. Do you know so what medical thing? support did you get? Yeah. Did you, was your GP supportive? Was you able to get that appointment quite easily? Did they, uh, yeah. Or did they, yeah, did they dismiss you because you were young? I went, I went to the doctor. We had a conversation about potentially taking some HRT. Yeah. I even got the prescription, but I got home and didn't take it. Um, what was your reasons for that? Um, well, my mom, my sister had cancer, so you kind of got that in the family. Mm. And I and, and to be honest, when you read about it, actually, there isn't a there link. There isn't enough, yeah. Yeah, there isn't a link. And there's, to be honest, I didn't do a lot of research, but because the rumours were there, back of my head, I thought, I just don't want to take that risk. So I didn't take anything. But I do know friends who have taken it, put patches on, and that's mm. really helped with their symptoms what about exercise does that help as well it does it does i mean that was the phase where i was doing yoga Mm. so that really does help and swimming Mm. Um, so do you think a lot of people get to that point that wouldn't even go to the gp because i feel like you'd get to that point you think well i'm just well no you might even not even think that it's menopause you might just be dismissive of it and like think Mm. oh it's just you know yeah age related or something yeah if you don't think it's menopause you might run to the gp but if you think it's menopause you Mm. might think well it's a normal process do i now go to the it's like starting your period for the first time would you go to the gp for that you don't you you run to mum or your sister she sorts you out and off you go isn't it, it? you get yeah. on with it it's not no. something you necessarily feel like you need to talk to the gp about or you feel like they're going to say well there's nothing wrong with you if anything it's the correct yeah path yeah like is it something we should be seeing our gp about like i don't even know the answer to that it, it's about how you feel okay. isn't it so when you're constantly feeling low mm. and and it's th- that's a big me, it's a issue, isn't it? Yeah. It's that you, the yeah. mood swings have, yeah. you're yeah. low, isn't yeah. it? It's not the anger, it's the you're deflated and you can't yeah. bother doing anything. You start questioning you're yourself. You're happy not to do anything. Yeah. yeah. So there's some of that in there as well. But why did I go to the GP? Because my memory loss, it just really bothered me. Because I've always remembered everything mm. and, you know, could everything was fine. And to actually sort of think, gosh, I can't believe I can't remember it. It's Because we would have really conversations, me and Hass, right? Yeah. And she'll come back like a couple of days later, a week later, and I'll be like, Hass, have you done it? She goes, when did you ask me? And I'm yeah. like, oh. I Completely asked you. Blank. And she'll be like, I can't remember. Yeah, honestly. We didn't have this conversation. I was like, we did, Hass. Oh, yeah. So you are, yeah. because you are Safina forgetting. Safina helps me at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Safina, I'm supposed to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yes. <laughs> yeah, she's really oh. good. Yeah. So, but then what did the GP say about memory loss? Like, is there anything you can do? Is well, there anything to make it better? Well, um, you do talk to people about that, and some of it is is part of getting old, going through the process. Um, patches do help, apparently, um, but I haven't taken them, so I can't say. And it's got a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not as bad as it was, um, but it's nowhere near what it was before. How has anyway. work supported you, or yeah, have you been able to yeah. speak to yeah. somebody at work? Yeah, work is really good, uh, <coughs> because of where I am. It's higher education, lots of conversations about it. We have wow. menopause cafes. Oh, yeah. that's good, isn't it? Yeah, not everyone is supportive. Yeah, they don't have much um, 
not feed, you know feedback on it or knowledge on it to be honest yeah no no work is really good and and then you've got work friends going mm. through it as well okay and i think i do you know what the best thing is you talk to someone yeah. how are you getting on <laughs> how are you how are you getting on with your husband these days yeah. oh yeah i just want to kill him these days. <laughs> 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 that's really good. Oh, that, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just I remember having that a few friends at work. They just have their fan on every so often. Hold on, I need to put the fan on. <laughs> Hold on, I can turn it off. Now. <laughs> and you knew what was going on. Oh, you know, I think there are a lot more conversations, aren't there? And you can actually sit in a meeting and then say, "Hold on a minute, got to open that window," and everybody knows why. Uh, and you don't feel uncomfortable that's doing right. it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I would still feel really uncomfortable yeah. so admitting it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it admitting it that yeah, we feel comfortable? Yeah, I think yes. there? there's yeah. a stigma there. Isn't it? There is. Because it's, it's, it's all tragically aged. Yeah. Age related, yeah. isn't you're, it? You're at 50. This oh my girl God. thinks she's 21 yeah. still. <laughs> I think I'm 18 still. This girl never thinks she's even over. <laughs> she doesn't look at all. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, actually. There is that stigma. Is, oh, my God, it? yeah. But I think, I mean, you get to my age, and you, you know, the eldest, you know, all the circus. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I said to somebody at work, oh, my God, I'm now the eldest. No. Is there a stigma as well about being Muslim and thinking we can't talk about these things because yeah. it's a bit shameful or immodest mm. or something? Because I feel like there's still a little bit of that in the Asian community, in the Muslim community. That, I think the Asian oh, no, community like, yeah. more so, yeah. more so yeah. in I the Asian that, community, right? Did you feel right? there was that like? But did, did, did we just say to? But yeah, don't come in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Is it is it is it stigma or is it respect? Maybe it's respect. I but don't it's know. the same thing with period, right? Yeah. We wouldn't yeah. say to, we won't go and shout out to people, oh, we won't, so, yeah. you know, yeah, that's don't right. come next to us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just one of those things. Do you know what I mean? It's just like one of those things. Yeah. When, like, out of respect, yeah, yeah. we wouldn't say yeah. we're yeah. not respect. fasting today because think, we're on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep yeah. the that's level it. of higher, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That means understandings and I think conversation need to happen like you're saying have that conversation with your husband yeah. maybe you didn't feel the need to have it with your sons no but they didn't need when to know. the time is right maybe yeah. you do feel like you I need think to if you if you were severely going through the symptoms you would have you would, had I to think, explain yeah. that to your sons because right? they would have been really yeah. like what's yeah. my yeah. mom going yeah. Yeah. through it yeah. yeah. like she's gone yeah. on one yeah. Yeah. again yeah I think <laughs> they had no idea do you know which is fair enough maybe because it's their boys maybe if they were a girl I was going to say that yeah maybe it would have been different because I remember with my mum I remember when she went through it. Do you? Yeah, and yeah, she I, went yeah. through crazy I don't bleeding. I remember. Yeah, you were saying, yeah. She went through crazy bleeding. Really? Yeah, like really oh, wow. bad. Okay. Um, and that's when we were like, mum, is everything okay? And she was like, I'm going through changes. And, you know, she'd have really? to find yeah. it. So I remember those kind of things, but... My, I yeah. can't even remember. Maybe because I was just naive and okay. like, really like... Yeah. Wasn't taking it on no. board, yeah, yeah, me actually. I remember my mum my mum used to say oh she's getting hot. My dad wouldn't want to have the heater on and it was No, my dad always had to have the heater on and he'd say right next to the fireplace. Oh. And my mum's like, Oh god, I'm feeling so hot and we never knew what it was, you know. Yeah. So it's a shame though, but I mean I know we were young but it would have been nice, nice to, to support, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Especially when they were dealing it. Because my mum was a chef. chef. Really? Oh, yeah, Mashallah. so my mum, oh, wow. in Scotland, we, yeah, like, yeah. I was in the takeaway, yeah. mum was a chef, dad yeah. was a, t- like, mum was a tandoori chef, yeah. Yeah. dad was a chef. Oh, yeah. wow. so, like, yeah. a clear of her, <laughs> doing the nouns and stuff, can yeah, you imagine? Yeah, 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 God. So, you know, yeah, really God. she wouldn't have been yeah, able yeah. to say anything, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't even realise. God. Yeah. You don't, wow. So, Interesting. Yeah, That's no, good. it's just, like, I think for that generation, it would have been harder, mm. whether or not they had conversations within their own circle mm. with their friends, and obviously they must have, yeah. Definitely. but yeah. not with their children, they're not with their daughters, no. even some of them. No. Yeah, actually, now I think back, I think my mum's mood swings must have been. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But how would it be, how is it now with, like, your nieces? Now, you don't obviously have daughters, but you have nieces. You, are you able to have that conversation with yeah, them? Definitely, yeah. Uh, very comfortably, um, yeah, um, not a problem at all. You know, you, I, I'm very comfortable telling people I'm, I'm going through the change. Wow. Um, yeah, it's just excuse me. Even at work, I don't have a problem. Mm. Um, uh, it's just a change I'm going through. I'm getting and old. And is that with male? <laughs> <I'm getting old. laughs> is that with male colleagues as well? Um, or how how much would you say, and how much wouldn't you say? But don't you think that men and women should know? About yeah, it? they should. They yeah. should, especially at a workplace, so they can understand yeah. and support you. Yeah. 
isn't yeah. it? Even yeah, in families, I think. Yeah. I think Definitely. if it's needed, isn't it? Yeah. Like, we don't, yeah. like you said, like we you don't said. need to advertise yeah. it, maybe. But not, if, not advertise if we need it. help or yeah. we need things to be worked around us, then perhaps in that Yeah, not advertise it, because, it? like, obviously, if you go through mood swings and then the men of the house or the boys... They don't, they, they don't understand what you're going through. Yeah, yeah. And then if you're not going to explain about to, um, about your mood thing, then there's a bit of a friction there, isn't it? So yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. save all that. Yeah. 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 To an extent yeah. that, you easier. know what, I'm sure that, you know, if you just say menopause, they'll go on Google and find out themselves anyway. <laughs> 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 so so then they don't have true. the Premenopausal is true. used a lot. So yeah. when you talk about premenopausal, mm. menopausal, post, yeah. whatever, yeah. what's the difference? Yeah, did I even know I was a pre yeah. or no? I think, well, the difference... Isn't it just a journey, ten, so... Uh, I think is when, it's in the pre-stage, you're still having your periods. Okay. But your symptoms are coming, are starting. Right. But when you're in your, when you're going through your menopause, um, so it's 12 months of not having a period when you, when you uh, officially ah, are in, okay. uh, going through your menopause. So okay. if you're still having your periods, then you're in the pre-stage. But if you've had 12 full months without... So the symptoms are on it. both both times. You get the symptoms of being moody yeah. and on the no, kids yeah. are moody. Yeah. <laughs> you just get more moody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Am I being moody though? Am I being moody? <laughs> <laughs> she's got to be you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's been pre the day she was born. No, I haven't. No, it's okay. Um, oh, so the symptoms are there Can't for both times. No, no, thank you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, I'm saying the symptoms are there for both times, isn't it? Mm. But it's more intense when you stop your period. Is that what you're saying? Not it, 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 no. Yeah, it's different yeah. for everybody, sure. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. think I think it's it, everybody goes through it in a different way. Because yeah. even like my friends who I talk to, what I'm going through, they don't always go through. Um, yeah. Like, oh, the other thing I should have mentioned is vitamins. Yeah, oh, Start yeah. your oh. vitamins. Vitamin, yeah. Start your vitamins now. So uh, what and vitamins are you talking about? Multivitamins. Obviously, we're not giving medical advice no. for anyone. No, 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 no. Uh, but it's it just coincidental. I, I, I happened to be going through my menopause and I went to a chemist not my normal chemist and a different chemist and um my friend was there who i haven't seen for 20 years oh wow from bolton wow. she happened to be in the chemist oh, yeah. and she goes are you going through your change blah 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 and i said yeah she goes take your vitamins and then she's the one who gave me the vitamins is it those little little woman ones and all of that kind it of... was it was a specific multivitamin she said take those and then subsequently i've spoken to my other friends and they said oh take this vitamin if you've got this symptom oh. so, so the multivitamins everything mm. and then the cod liver oil f- helps me with my memory what about the, the menopause prim- 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 primrose oil yeah, yeah they Evening talked about that i didn't try it yeah I, but yeah everybody was talking about that as well you're right but there's another tablet that you can take when you're going through it yeah i can't remember the name you can get, they do advertise it as premenopausal menopausal yeah well they do <coughs> i don't i, don't no. take I think it's just the mix isn't yeah. it mix. It's the mix yeah yeah okay. but, but they are important i think vitamins are important because vitamins. my hair loss hmm. um was helped once I start to have my vitamins. Oh, cool. and, and your vitamin D levels drop, drop as well. Yeah. Oh, we're low in vitamin D yeah, anyway. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's important that we always top that up mm. anyway. Yeah. And Because I'm not drinking my milk, my calcium levels. Yeah. Oh, my calcium levels. You're weaker anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 You are and definitely aging it. Yeah, anyway, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. all of that, you're more risk of So do you think it was different in our like mum's generation, previous generation and now? Because think about our diet and our lifestyle. It's so different. So I do feel like... We're hearing of it more, yes. Yeah. But I feel like we're going through more kind of extreme versions of it, maybe, because so that's, of the lifestyles that we're living. Yeah, my mother-in-law would definitely agree with you. Yeah. Because she, you know, she'll say, you should be eating this, this and this. And there's some truth in that, you know, it that is. hood and that stuff, I don't know what you call it. Because, like, yeah. your yeah. Gujarati has... Yeah. has yeah. Right. So, <laughs> Gujarati have a lot more... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say anything. So, so, Gujarati people will have a lot more, like, they'll have garam food yeah. and then yeah. tanda food, yeah. but not so much in Bengali. We wouldn't yeah, really yeah, say yeah. that. No. So like, It's and not then, actually garam and tanda. <clears throat> It's Gorom as in temperament, sp- isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. we used to think it was almost like spicy and mm. no, 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 oh. cooling. Oh. Yeah. So some it's foods not, will make you yeah, hot inside, yeah. and some yeah. foods will make you cooler inside. Yeah. And then there's a special thing as well. Like they, Gujarati's had something for everything. So like, if you're pregnant, yeah. this is the kind of food you have yeah. for that forty days after the baby. This is the food that yeah. you should be having. Yeah, yeah. So they must have something Definitely. for Even the menopause stuff as well. Even during the winter months, oh thank you. Even during the winter months, you have like lots of ginger. Yeah. Um. So yeah. No, but Bengali is. 
you that as well when you not when you're pregnant. Not, not as much. much. Oh, no. We just say right. don't eat this, don't eat that, don't eat that. They they stop you from eating everything. Yeah. But they won't say what can you have instead. Okay. Do you get it? Okay. Because I know even with my Pakistani friends, they were given oh, what's that panjiri or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're eating um, all this stuff yeah. and they're replenishing their body yeah. again and there's different stages of it. Yeah. And I think that's fantastic. But yeah, Bengali is just like don't eat that, don't eat that. Yeah. They just stop you from eating things. Yeah, yeah, I think food is important, vitamins are important, Definitely. exercise is important, Definitely. friends are important. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you can that. imagine a friendship would be yeah. really important just to talk, to talk to through mm. yeah. that yeah. sounding board. Yeah. Isn't and it? it? Sometimes you don't realise it's that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, yeah. like, we had a discussion off air, like, and I was like, no, I'm not, of course I'm not going through it. Yeah. And that was almost like, oh, dismissive. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting yeah. old, I'm not going through it. <laughs> yeah. But you've just said yeah. you still have your period. Yeah. But you still have the symptoms, correct? Yeah. And now I'm thinking about it, and I'm but you thinking have irregular periods. I think that's irregular, it. irregular. Oh, mine is okay. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but you They're can irregular. still think, right? Yeah. That or oh, maybe you know this tallies up. Maybe could I am starting to, to see these type of mm. um, symptoms come out. Yeah, I mean, some people don't go through it till late fifties. Yeah, some get it in early forties. Yeah. Some people have got a so friend of ours is going through it and she's like yeah. always blown hot and cold as well. Yeah. And then she'll be like, oh, I have to go, you know, really hot and the hot flushes really get to her. Yeah. But she hasn't really complained about memory loss. No. No, really. isn't it? It's, it's really the hot flushes that yeah, she yeah, gets yeah, to yeah. her yeah. the most. There's, there's one friend who was talking, she's become psycho and she was saying, I've become psycho. <laughs> Don't you remember? No, <laughs> I can't remember. In, in what sense? I mean, she's just gone. I think her moods are so crazy and yeah. so intense. Yeah. Yeah. She goes, I'm just psychotic at home and just like losing it with everybody. And I thought that's quite hard, isn't it? It's mm. so draining as well, because mm. you know as well, like when you, you're then reflective and you're like, I don't want to be this person, yeah. but I can't control it. Yeah. It's like going through puberty all over me. Yeah. I see it with my 10-year-old daughter, who's like, yeah. suddenly she can be like, Mum, why are you talking about puberty on, on the podcast? <laughs> but she will have this intense <laughs> yeah. amount of emotions yeah, yeah. and feeling, and she knows, but you can't control it. And yeah. I guess it's that in a kind so, of severe yeah. way, mm. isn't mm. it? Mm. Um, God, the life cycle. Yeah. I'm just like, you said, yeah, yeah we men we can go for it. Oh, no, I know, I know. It's like, no, men no. have it easy. Do you find, though, you know, like, with women, they have, they always have a little bit of competition and everything. You know, like, oh, when I had my baby, <laughs> I had 15 <laughs> stitches. Well, I had 65. <laughs> you know, and I had 13 degree tears and whatever else. Yeah? I didn't take yeah. any medication. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did it all on, you know, the year from the garden, right? <laughs> Is it the same? Is it the same with menopause? I think it's the other way around. I think you want the less symptoms. Yeah, no, yes, least. Oh no, I've been fine. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. My memory's fine. I'm yeah. all right. I'm not really going through it. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe okay. it's the other maybe way around. Because it's that stigma again of getting <laughs> exactly. old. Like, that's yeah. what it is. Right. There is a You're stigma right. there. Yeah, yeah, so I'm definitely. just thinking. Can you imagine? It's it like, is. Oh, my hot flush is hotter than yours. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go behind the door and scream and take everything off. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh, imagine the yeah, chef's yeah, man. Yeah. She'll be like, as soon as she gets home, <laughs> get out of my way. Maybe like tell your son it, to stay in his room. No, but I haven't got that yet. Yeah. No, but I was saying when you do. Oh, when I do, okay. You're always cold, isn't it? I'm always cold. She's, she's like gonna, a dad. She's going to be welcoming I'm not my dad. Flushes. I don't have to turn Come to me. <laughs> I thought not everybody will get the hot flushes either. Though. Yeah, yeah, I think not everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then how everybody. do people cope like this at work then? You can't really, or when you're out or in the bus or the um, crowded trains, that must be really hard for them mm. then, isn't it? Yeah, some people take the patches, don't they? And that oh, helps the patches. Them. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Patches, medication. Mm. But there has been research and, you know, people have to do their own research. But mm. there was on one of the programmes the other day that there, there's better HRT patches now. Mm. They've improved it yeah. Yeah. and it does help a lot of women. Yeah. Definitely. And so I think that's really important that you do seek advice yeah. from your GP. Yes. Everyone is different. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to right. discuss what, what what will work for you, may, what may work for you. So it's really important to get that information. You, not Agreed. just speaking to your friends is not going to cut it. You need to no, yeah, definitely. get that medical advice yeah. as well. Yeah. That's one of the first things I said, like, go to your GP. <coughs> I, I didn't Correct. even think. I was thinking myself, yeah. I was thinking, would you go to the yeah. GP? And, Actually, you should, isn't it? I think you should. Something doesn't feel right. Definitely. Seek. um, Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, the other side of me, it's a bit non-conventional medication. HRT isn't a natural approach. No. It's not very natural. It's putting something into our body that our body is saying, "Hold on, I'm trying to get rid of something, and you're trying to replace it." it. So just look at all the research, isn't it? Look at your family history and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Your personal situation and know what you're doing rather than just take the the advice of it. Obviously, speak to your GP. That's yeah. the first step. Uh, once you start knowing what 
triggers, mm. you start controlling it yourself, don't you? That's so, it. you know, the cut yeah, down so the in, foods. Yeah, so in informed yeah, choice, yeah. I think that's yeah. really important. Yeah, definitely. But even with the um, vitamins, do you have to go and ask the GP first, isn't it? Like, well, it depends, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, can, that's my friend had a test done, mm. uh, and they tell you what you're lacking. So okay. you can actually have a proper full test done and then they'll tell you exactly what will help you. Yeah. Go to, yeah. Or you can go to nutritionists and they'll tell you exactly what food will help you. Yeah. But you know that's on the package, they always mm. say, consult your yeah, yeah, doctor that's what I'm before saying. you yeah. take yeah. this. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. if you'd rocked up at your GP surgery yeah. and saying, I'm starting these multivitamins, he'd boot you out of the Oh, problem. okay, all right. <laughs> 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 okay. Like, go home, I've got other things to do. <laughs> 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 yeah. I thought yeah. I had to go and ask him about the multivitamins. as well, isn't it? But yeah. that's the thing, isn't it? You don't know what to read. Um, yeah, it's information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm also thinking some of those symptoms... Like, you could be genuinely going through something. Like, for example, say your memory loss, God forbid, is something more. Yeah, but this is it. You, we kind of think, oh, it's just a menopause. And yeah. Actually, yeah. it might not be. It might exactly. be something more worrying, and we'd almost put it into Dismiss that bracket. It. Yeah. And that's it with women, isn't it? We put it into this bracket because we're at that age or mm. whatever, and we put it all under that bracket, mm. and actually... Mm. There could be something more. Yes. But then, how long? How long? Yeah. How long do you wait to see if yeah. it is um, to do with the menopause, mm. with something like that? Yeah. So um, I, I think just go, isn't it? If, yeah. if you get into a stage yeah. where it's unbearable yeah. or it's affecting you, you can get it checked out. Checked it. Yeah. Mm. And I think I you think know what? So. Follow yeah. your gut. Yeah. When your gut is saying mm. something's not right, yeah, mm. go, go and seek help. Yeah, yeah, and often, yeah, even always. when the, the GP turns you away, you need yeah. to say this doesn't feel right. This isn't normal. Mm. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. I need to look into it. Again. And I think you know, like when they do, when they do go and see the GP first time, and then he said it's all right, everything's fine. I think that you should, and you're that still feeling sure. the same yes. thing. Go again. Yeah. Don't yeah. take they the can first. Be dismissive, yeah, yeah. Can't they, they? they are very. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That assurance is good as well. Yeah. So um, yeah. So thank you, Hafiza, for coming in. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was really you informative. <laughs> yeah, it was really informative, and <laughs> thank you for being so open Inshallah, and honest about yeah. it yes. as well. No, no, thank that you. Not many are. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I can help one person, I think we've done job done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So thank you for watching the Empower Her Play podcast. You can find all of our previous episodes on podcast platforms and we'll see you next time. Thank you.